What is up, YouTube family? How in the heck are you guys? So, <laughs> I have the reveal behind me from my two days, two days at the dumpsters. It's not very much, guys, <laughs> but it's okay because I got some good stuff. That office type store dumpster, I was so sad that I couldn't take all that stuff. But if I would have brought all those paper plates, paper cups, lids, all that stuff home, <laughs> I wouldn't have been able to use it all fast enough. I probably would have died before I could have used it all. I would have been like 95 and still using the paper plates. <laughs> so I took what I knew I could use right now and I left the rest. But I know there's a lot of divers that go down in that area. Um, that's the town that my friend Stacy, which is one of the subscribers that I have that gave me all that Bath and Body Works stuff, she lives right down near there. And she said before to me, if you don't go between like 8.30 and 9.30, everything's gone because other divers go down there and get everything. So I know that she dives there. I know that she said other people dive there. So I'm sure they took it because there was tons. And I didn't really want the straws, the coffee stirs, because what am I gonna do with like coffee stirs? <laughs> I think those are the most stupidest things ever invented and it's a waste of plastic, but whatevs. So let's jump into everything I got. So the first night I went, speaking of the first night, where did I put those? Oh, okay. I thought I lost them. <laughs> I found them. So the first night, I checked a bunch of dumpsters near my work, and then, why, why is this crooked? Okay, I don't know. I feel like you guys are crooked. You probably are, because my tripod is already broken. I swear, these things last like a month or two, and then they just fall apart. Anywho, so I went to a bunch of dumpsters that were near my work, one being a the Renews It's Dollar Type Store dumpster, and normally they don't destroy anything. They went ham with destroying, but I think the reason why is it was all food items. It was a lot of bags of potato chips. There were um, like yogurts, a ton of milk, which they emptied all of that stuff out or like poked holes and stuff. And um, there was a bunch of like little Lunchables, but they were, they weren't the Lunchable brand. They were from Mott's. So they had like a little kid's apple juice and I don't even remember what else was in there. And I think cheese and crackers and lunch meat. But they emptied them all out. And I was thinking, well, maybe I'll grab some of the apple juices. But they sliced a lot of those or poked holes in them. So I was like, ah, it's not worth me even trying because I don't know if there's going to be a little hole and I take it in my car and then it leaks all over the place. You know what I mean? So I didn't take any of that. But I did find two dog treats. We have um, Dream Sticks and Dream Bones. Oh wait, no, these are Dream Sticks and these are Twist Sticks. So we got those and we got these. And I actually wanted to go to the animal shelter today, but I ran out of time because me and the hubby went and got a massive storage unit right up the street. But it's not just for my stuff, it's for a lot of his stuff too because we're gonna be selling our house, so we need to put a lot of that stuff in there. So that would be why. We but, but anywho, so I got these. And then, don't mind the yelling upstairs, that would be my husband yelling at the kids. <laughs> then I went to the Dollar Store dumpster and there was three huge boxes filled with Valentine's Day cards. I know I still have Valentine's cards from last year. So I did not want to take a whole bunch. So I took as many as I thought, because I know I have some scrapbooker. God, why can't I talk? <laughs> I know I have some scrapbookers and I know I have a lot of crafters that love to buy these cards. So I, of course, don't charge them much, but if any of you ladies need some cards, I grabbed like the nicest ones and the coolest ones I could find. Um, 
that had like super cute designs or like cute pictures. Like there's pets on some. This, this one's a cute little picture. But there's tons of them in here. Grandson one, I like that print. Oh. Then we got this one and this one. You get it. Lots of cards <laughs> and lots of envelopes. If you guys would like any of these, shoot me an email and they're all yours. And that's all I found Wednesday night after work. Did I say I was going to the animal shelter today? But I didn't. Did I finish that story? I don't think I did. <laughs> Can you tell I didn't get much sleep? Because um, I was out dumpster diving all night. So I was going to take um, all the stuff to the animal shelter today. But I didn't because we had a lot of running around to do. And I had other things to do. And um, I was editing all day, <laughs> to be honest. So I have a bunch of stuff over here and I'm going to put those treats in with that stuff and I'll take it tomorrow and maybe I'll bring you guys along with me for that. So that's all I got Wednesday night. And then last night we went to the 40 minute away town and the go to town and I didn't find a ton but I knew I wasn't going to be getting a lot of stuff because Monday nights is the night for me to find all the stuff there. So sometimes I get lucky on Saturdays or Sundays, but usually it's Monday. I got this out of the B.L, which is right down the street from my house. I actually, I was going to buy this one day. I went in there and I bought a bunch of stuff that I hung up in my kitchen because I was redoing my kitchen. So I found a bunch of cute stuff and it's like, I don't know. I, I guess I used a lot of like galvanized um, metal in my kitchen, like for decor. So I looked at these, look at how cute that shelf is. And I was gonna buy it and then I was like, no, cause it was like, yeah, $15. They clearanced this one down to 1050 and I guess they didn't sell it fast enough. So they tossed it in the garbage. So now it's mine and I'm gonna hang this in my kitchen. So yay me. That's all I got out of that one. You guys seen that huge teddy bear? I did not take it. No, I didn't because what the hell am I gonna do with it? <laughs> Let's be serious right now. First of all, they shoved a cigarette butt in its mouth. That's disgusting. And that thing wouldn't fit in my washing machine. No, it would not. And I, I just don't want that dirtiness with my kids touching it, no thanks. So I left it there for somebody else. Hopefully somebody else grabbed it and can fix it, which I'm sure they can. And then we went to the new town that is 40 minutes away. And I found a few things there. This is a king size mattress topper and I did not realize this until I got home and I was looking it over to make sure there was no holes or rips or anything like that. This is actually a heated mattress topper. OMG. But I didn't know that. So I didn't grab, I seen a cord in there, but I didn't grab it and now I kick myself for not grabbing it. But it's actually the same as my heated blankets. It takes the same, um, you know, hook her in her thing. Plug. <laughs> hook her in her thing. Oh my God. Plug. It takes the same plug <laughs> as my heated blankets. So I can use one of those and I'm going to wash this, bleach it, and then put it on our mattress for in winter time. And we can have a heated mattress topper. Yeah, yes. There are a few little stains on it, but it was in a dumpster. What do you expect? but I'll bleach them bad boys out. Don't you worry. Plus, you know, it was in a dumpster, so I want to bleach it anyway, you know? Okay. Then I went and found at the Max Type Dumpster only one thing. I was so sad because there were a ton of shoe boxes in that dumpster, Adidas shoe boxes. And I was like, oh my God, I found shoes. No, they were empty. <laughs> I got all excited for nothing. But I did find this really pretty picture frame. It does have a crack right at the bottom there, but I can go get me a new piece of glass from the dollar store. And you know what? I was actually thinking too, somebody told me, or was I watching? I think I was watching another diver and they said they bought a glass cutter from Walmart and it was like $3. So I was like, oh snap. I didn't know you could cut glass at home. 
So I might actually do that and then buy some nicer glass. But I like how it's distressed. I like that look, so I'm gonna keep that. And I think I'm gonna put uh, one of our wedding pictures in here, actually. The home goods type dumpster, which is my fave dumpster ever. Um, at first, I didn't think there was anything. And then I dug a little more in the front dumpster and I found a whole set of these towels. These are so soft, so soft. So these were, I think $7.99 each, yeah. The big, I got two big ones, $7.99 each. And then I got two tea towels, not tea towels. <laughs> oh my God, hand towels, not tea towels. Oh my goodness. And these ones were $5.99 each. This one's nice, but this one was bleached. So you can see there's some bleach stains on there, but stuff like that I just give to my hubby and he uses those for when he washes the car. What are you doing? Um, Hi. Well, um, when you wake up, then you Yeah, why don't you ask Dad? Okay. Okay. Dad's upstairs with them, but they came all the way downstairs to ask me if I could get them some water. <laughs> God help me. Okay. So anyway, all the other towels are perfectly fine. There's no stains. So I will wash these up and add them to our towel collection. And I will throw away two crappy ones because that's my new thing. When I find something in the dumpsters and I'm going to replace it with something else, I'm actually going to replace it and not keep the other thing. I'm going to give it away or donate it or put it at the yard sale or throw it out because I need to do that. <laughs> So that's cool. I love the towels. Loved it. I almost had these really super cute picture frames, but as you guys seen in the video, I was just about to get them and then they dropped and shattered in the bottom of the dumpster. Yeah, I was really, really mad at myself about that. Um, from the discount grocery store dumpster, I got me a big bag of apples. Um, these are, what, what kind are they? It just says apples. So I got apples. Actually, after this video, well, after this part, I'm going to be making some apple cinnamon blondies for you guys and an apple pie for my husband because God forbid, he doesn't want to try anything new. He just wants an apple pie. And I've already made apple pie on here like twice. So I'm not doing another video on that, but I will do one on apple cinnamon blondies just for you guys. Okay, I'm sure you're all excited about that. <laughs> Because my cooking videos are horrible. <laughs> so <laughs> if you don't want to watch it, I totally understand. Hi, Miss Ava. I went to the office type store in the new town. And that dumpster, like I said, was just redonkulous. There was so many cups and lids and paper plates and paper bowls. And oh, that just killed me. Like, why would you just throw all that away? I, it, well, I will never ever understand that i just won't so we got these which is a paper cup on the inside and then on the outside it is just a thicker paper like ribbed paper so those are really nice coffee cups so i got a bunch of those we got this big stack which that's awesome but i'm not the brightest crayon in the box and these are all the lids i grabbed so I didn't grab enough lids, but you can reuse these. You just rinse them, wash them, hand wash them, and dry them, and they're fine to use again. So, hubby will just have to do that. And then we got some just regular paper cups, coffee cups. We got four masking tapes. I think that's what this is called, isn't it? Masking tape? But I thought this was funny. Read that. Send back. Why would they need to send back the tape? And they didn't send it back. They threw it in the dumpster. So, again, I don't understand. But we will be saving these because when we do move next year or within the next year and a half, we will tape the boxes up with some free tape. So, that's awesome. And I got a stack of Ziploc bags. These are... Uh, these aren't quart size, they're gallon sized. Oh, duh. <laughs> Took me a minute, but I got it. So we got a bunch of those, which I use these all the time because I um, 
I do a lot of food prep, which you guys don't know about, but I do. And on the weekends, I like to make a lot of like French toast for the girls because I hate buying the kind in the freezer section that is filled with preservatives and things that are just bad for them. So I like to make it myself and then just freeze it. I also make my husband like English muffin, muffin sandwiches, um, sausage and cheese burritos, things like that. And then I just mark the bag and throw them in the freezer and then he has stuff to take with him for lunch. So these will come in handy. We got a microfiber washcloth, which is perfectly new and I will use it for cleaning. I got four or three, three Glad Tupperware containers, which they all have the lids, which is even awesomer. <laughs> I love finding Tupperware. But I got this whole stack. Same with this one. These ones are just a little bit bigger. Perfectly fine. There was no like nasty garbage or cigarette butts or milk or coffee anywhere in that dumpster, like liquid at all. So these were just sitting right on the top, on top of paper. So I grabbed them. I also got a wide rolled one subject notebook. They just ripped the back off, but I will of course use this for whatever or let the kids draw on it. It needs to still meet its purpose. It doesn't need to go to the landfill before it's even been used, you know? Then I found this, which I love. This is brand new, still has the, can you see that? The paper, there it is, shimmering. Still has the paper on the mouthpiece. This is a Contigo leak proof, 24 hours cold water bottle. And these are expensive. There is no price tag on this bad boy though. But it is brand new, the paper is still inside of it. So you know it wasn't used. I of course will wash it first. But I do like this one better than any of the other ones I have because it has a straw and you just push the button and it flips right up. So I will be using this a lot. Oh, it even has a hook. You can hook it on stuff. So I will definitely use this because the other one I have is just so wide and it's so big I have to hold it with two hands. So this is more my size. But that is it. That is everything I got out of the dumpsters on Wednesday and Thursday. I know it's not much, but I saved it. So I'm happy about that. And it's all stuff that I will use. So except for the cards. But I can get rid of those, of course. For some of you guys out there that would want them. So if anybody wants those, shoot me an email. My email is always in the description box below. And now we are gonna go upstairs and we are going to make some apple cinnamon blondies. And you guys get to suffer along and watch. <laughs> Aren't you lucky? So that is it for this part of the video. If you'd like to click off, I do not blame you and I will not be mad at you. But don't forget to hit that like button before you go. And also if you've yet to subscribe, make sure you click that button and subscribe because I'm very close to 5,000 subscribers. And once I hit that, I am gonna be doing a giveaway. So once I hit 5,000 subs, I will let you guys know in a video how to enter the rules, regulations, blah, 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 blah. Now, let's go upstairs and make some apple cinnamon blondies. Okay, um, thanks guys. You did not remind me about the area rug I'm sitting on. <laughs> I start taking everything upstairs and Kylie's helping me. I'm like, oh my God, I totally forgot the best thing I got and I was sitting on it the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> I can't make this stuff up. I'm literally just that gone. Thank you, Kylie, for helping me. Can you take this up too? Don't mind her shorts and t-shirt. She changes out of the outfits I put on them when they get home from school. They think it's summertime here. We're in the middle of winter. It's 20 degrees outside. It's fine. We're not, we're not going anywhere. Okay. Anyway. I went to a different B.L. dumpster and they did lock it, but I had just enough room to peek my head in. And when I looked in, I seen this rug and it was already rolled up. So I was able to put my rake in there and pull it over to myself. And since it was rolled up, I was able to slide it right out of the dumpster. And this matches my bedroom perfectly. 
Oh my goodness. Finally, I have a rug that matches absolutely perfectly. So let me show you the rug. I believe it's a five by seven. There are no stains, no rips, no snags, no marks. It's perfectly fine and I love it. Now that's it. I cannot believe I forgot this and I was literally sitting on it the whole time. You guys, if the, you're in for a treat, I'm sure, with this cooking part of the video because <laughs> my mind's already burnt out and it's only like 5.30. <laughs> Welcome to my kitchen. So, we are going to be making, with my dumpster apples tonight, what the heck is that thing called? Shit. Apple cinnamon blondies. <laughs> So this is my first time. I have never made these before. I went on Pinterest and I was like, I don't know, give me a different apple recipe. And I went through all these ones and it was like apple pie, apple crisp. And then I seen these apple cinnamon blondies and I was like, I'm all about this. Like, let's do this. So I will link the recipe for you in the description box below. And um, I'll try and remember all the measurements as I'm going, but if I probably won't. So I'll just put it on the screen for you if I have time to do that while I'm editing. If not, just click that link in the description box and you guys will see the recipe. So let's get started. You will need two and a quarter cups of flour. You're gonna need some baking soda and baking powder. I'll have the measurements for you, maybe, on the screen. <laughs> if not, they'll be in the, in the recipe in the description box below. <laughs> I'm no Martha Stewart in the kitchen. Okay, so we're gonna mix the baking soda, baking powder, flour, and salt. And I need a half a teaspoon of salt. At least I hope that's what it was. Let me double check that. Okay, that was right. Half a teaspoon. So you're just going to mix that together. Then you're going to take your if you have a stand mixer, you can do this in a stand mixer. I do not. I'm going to set that aside. You're going to take your butter. Plop it on in there. Save these because that's what you're going to grease your baking dish with is this. That way you don't have to waste any extra. You don't have to get your fingers dirty. Just use these little tip. Maybe I am Martha Stewart. I don't know. <laughs> All right, so you're going to cream together your two sticks of butter, and then you need one and a quarter cup packed brown sugar. Pack that sucker in there. Then you will just whisk that together. That's light and fluffy enough for me. Then we are going to add the eggs and the vanilla. Two eggs. And I believe it was two teaspoons of vanilla. Then we're going to add the flour. Hmm. It didn't say anything about the cinnamon in the recipe. So... I guess we will add this in as well with the flour. Add all of your flour, baking soda, and baking powder in. Okay, and then you're just going to scrape out your either your mixer blade or whatever you use or your electric mixer. <laughs> I'm getting stuff everywhere. 
I guess I'll never be on Top Chef, huh? <laughs> Good thing that's not a dream because I don't think it would ever come true for me. This batter looks really dry, but I'm hoping that it won't be. You're gonna take your apples and you will fold your apples in to the mixture. And while you are baking this, make sure you preheat your oven to 350 degrees. You wanna make sure your oven is nice and preheated. Then we're gonna get our apples, which it told me to get one large baking apple, but you know what's a large baking apple? I don't know. So I just peeled and sliced up small two of the dumpster apples we got. And I'm going to fold those in to the mixture, which I think two apples was actually perfect because I wanted a little bit more apple. I didn't want it to just be a little bit, you know? Now it's not looking as dry, which is good. All right. Now we're going to get our baking dish. You want to grease and flour it. Your butter wrappers. And just go all around. And then we're going to sprinkle on some flour. Voila, your fingers don't get buttery. Isn't that awesome? I thought so. And then you're just going to flour your baking dish like so. Just move it all around just so you evenly coat all of it, even the sides. About, what did I put in there? One teaspoon usually perfectly does a 9 by 13. And then we're going to put our mixture in. And you just want to evenly put your blondie mixture in and then spread it out. This smells so good. I really hope it turns out good. And then you're just gonna smooth this down. Oh, and it's very quiet because my husband's doing our taxes at our, my mother-in-law's and he took the kids so that I could film. <laughs> so thank you, hubby. He's so, oh my God, that just flung in my face. <laughs> I think it's in my hair. Well, it's better than catching the house on fire, right? Right. All right. Then you're going to pop this bad boy in the oven for 20 to 25 minutes, and then we'll check on it. So I'll bring you back in 20 to 25, and we'll see where this bad boy's at. All right. So I actually had to bake that for 32 minutes because I don't know if it's my oven or what, but 25 minutes was not enough. First of all, it smells amazing. That's all I know. Oh, and I'm using my dumpster hot pad. <laughs> oh my God, these are so soft. Soft and chewy. Oh my goodness, these are gonna be so good. And of course, I'm making an apple pie right now because my husband. Let's taste it. Oh my God. You guys have got to make that. That is seriously the best dessert I've ever had. That stuff is amazing. And to think, it's with dumpster apples. That seriously is so good. So that's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me, checking out my reveal, and baking with me. I had a blast. I hope you guys did as well. I had a, a couple of subscribers ask me continuously, when are you gonna do another cooking video? And I'm like, oh man, guys, like, you know, <laughs> they usually turn out really bad. Thankfully, I didn't mess anything up too bad in this one, so maybe the third time's a charm. If you guys like this and you wanna see more videos like this, just let me know. I'm not gonna do it all the time because this is a dumpster diving channel. Um, that's pretty much what it's all about here. But I don't mind sharing stuff like this with you guys, especially when it's stuff that I'm using from the dumpsters. 
But if you want to see more, just let me know in the comments down below and I will definitely incorporate some more, not a lot, but a little bit, um, some more different aspects of, of things that, that goes along still with dumpster diving and, you know, like being frugal and things like that. I mean, I'm not like the poster child of being frugal. <laughs> uh, if you see my grocery bill, you know why. But you know, I definitely try and I try to buy secondhand clothing and you know, things like that. But that is it guys. Thank you so much for tuning in tonight and hanging out with me on this Friday night. Um, you guys probably aren't going to see this until Saturday. So thank you for hanging out with me on Saturday night. <laughs> I will see you guys again. Um, I'll probably go diving Sunday and Monday again. I'm not positively sure yet on the days, maybe even Saturday because I'm off, but I don't know. We'll figure that out later. I did too much thinking as it is tonight. I can't use my brain any longer, <laughs> but I'm going to go shove my face full of those apple cinnamon blondies because they are amazing. So definitely give them a whirl. I'll see you guys later. And as always, happy diving and happy baking. Bye, guys.